Thank We're you. at the West Toledo YMCA with the City of Toledo Parks and Recreation Visioning Session. Um, we uh, basically met for an hour and a half today with at least 50 people from all walks of um, our community to talk about what we would like to see in our parks and in our community um, facilities. So um, we believe that great parks make great cities and um, our focus today was to come up with the vision for the future of parks and recreation in the city of Toledo. So um, the first thing we did was um, take a look at how Toledo stacks up as compared to other communities of similar size, um, what uh, the best practices are, and how we measure up. And what we discovered, um, which is no big surprise when you really look at the numbers, is that the city uh, falls well short uh, in terms of its investment in parks and recreation. Um, so this, the groups uh, broke into um, several different areas and um, we reviewed um, why parks facility and programming is important to us individually. So we really had a conversation about values. Um, and then folks really talked about their own personal experiences, about their favorite memories and um, times in Toledo's parks. Um, and when people shared in their small groups, then we had some reaction about, um, you know, what people felt uh, after they heard those things. Um, so it was really an emotional reaction to uh, a very meaningful um, experience. Um, so um, we asked more questions and then we broke out and uh, talked about what our preferred future looks like as it relates to parks um, and recreation programming. And behind me is an example uh, of um, exactly that. So people put all of their ideas on these little post-it notes and kind of clustered them together and really had a very energized exchange. Um, and then everybody reported out, so the group kind of ran across the auditorium and um, basically shared what their preferred feature is for the city of Toledo. And the next step is then to take all of these ideas and to encapsulate them into a bit of a report from the evening and then send it to um, our master planner, the person that is responsible for drawing the report and the plan for the city. The most important takeaway from the evening is after we got past um, what people are upset about or what they want to see in their neighborhood and their own individual interests, and we started really focusing on what is in the best interest of the city as a whole, we really got a sense that it was time to make these significant investments. I think it's essential at this point that um, once we report back that um, we uh, engage the same folks that were here um, and let them know the outcome of the master plan and involve them on how to implement the master plan. Because a lot of good a master plan does you if it's sitting on a shaft. Ask me my optimism, I am at a 10. If you ask me reality, I would say we have a 50-50 shot. And why did you score like you did with the 50-50 shot? Because uh, if money was no object, um, I could wave a magic wand and make this the future I want to see. In my, my opinion, uh, the levy vote comes down to self-worth. Um, does the city of Toledo deserve the same kinds of recreational opportunities that other communities of similar size and uh, demographics have? And I think the answer is yes. I think we need to invest in our future, and this is the best way to do that. When people have a positive experience in parks and recreation programming, um, it's a community where they want to live. It's a community where they want to raise their kids. It's a community where they want to stay. Um, and I think we've forgotten that um, in our priorities. And this is an opportunity for us to prioritize quality of life and to say that you can do better.